them come. This is their fate. On, that, on our list for to talk about was Skate. <laughs> another EA title. Um, and before, I'm going to just introduce it. Skate is another one of those um, games that's been long awaited. It's Skate 4. They're just now calling it Skate, though, because it's, like, being rebranded. Um, and uh, what it is is it's going to be a game that is continuously updated. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be something that like they're gonna have as you know, Skate Two, Skate Three. It's basically trying to become like a Destiny. It's kind of become like an Apex, where it's just constant updates to the game, and um, it's free to play. <laughs> that word "free to play" scares the mess out of me now for these games, but um, it's free to play, which. Um, I'm not going to talk about, I'll talk about it later, but I just wanted to put it out there that they're saying that there's basically going to be no pay to win. Um, micro this is microtransaction. I'm covering microtransactions for skate, the free to play game that just was announced. Um, no pay to win, no map areas locked behind paywalls. They're going to have no paid loot boxes and they're going to have no paid gameplay advantages. Obviously we just coming off another topic about free to play games. What's your guys' thoughts on this premise, I guess? I, I feel like Skate was a contained game, and I feel like now I just don't know what it's going to be. So, um, yeah, what's your so, thoughts? Taking a game that y'all like, love. Imagine Kingdom Hearts, you square in these boys. Imagine Kingdom Hearts going free to play. I don't know. What would that look like? <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, feel like so, how you know that. I just wanted to ask what what are they selling then? They're selling skins or they're selling I, like... I have no clue. They're not selling editions. It's not like they have like editions where you get more stuff. Um it's really just a like most of the information that's coming out for skate. Um yeah, it's it's really just information about the the, how they want to do it and how they want to keep the feedback in the community and like make sure it look it's right but how do you you have to monetize the game in some way it's a ea game and they have large success with apex i feel like it will mimic that in some capacity <laughs> but that is how i feel like they're going to try to make money off cosmetics mm -hmm. but skate is supposed to be um this contained game right so how do you change it from contained to expanding and how do you keep it refreshing people want to play because obviously it's a, it's already a niche game right like this is a this is a niche game i said niche niche game because it's a skate game like Everybody doesn't play skate games. Everybody doesn't enjoy skate games. FPS shooters, most people enjoy FPS shooters, so there's not that much of a buy-in to try a different one. But when you go to play a skate game, it's not as if people are going like, oh, I play a bunch of roller skating games. I play a bunch of bike games. I play a bunch of, you know, um, you know these sport, these uh, bike sport games or whatever. So I want to go try this. It's not like people have that type of buy-in. So I really don't understand the free-to-play model, um, to be honest. I think it's a little ill-advised. I think they see success in other places, and they're trying to gravitate towards that. But focusing on building a good game first is probably should be key, number uno, and then determining how you want to present that in the pricing. Um, to come off the bat and say free to play, it kind of already sets expectations that you're trying to cop pleased. In my eyes, it's like you copy please. Like if it's not finished, if it's like weird looking, or if it's like not working well, or if it's not it's lacking content, well, it's free to play, so you everybody can download it. That's a plea to me now. It doesn't feel like it's going to be a fully fleshed out um, game, and it's at the at the point of inception it may take a bunch of time to really fix and 
I don't think skate games have that liberty, you know. Um, even Riders Republic, a game that came out in a great state, I don't believe it's like a huge audience for Riders Republic. If I look up YouTube videos on Riders Republic public events for the week, it's probably like 3,000, 2,000 views. That's not like a game that's really popping. So sometimes you have to understand what the market you're in and who you're going for. So um, obviously Skate's a bigger name and people love Tony Hawk and stuff like that, but um, not to the point where it's like a top seller to me. But I digress. What's your thoughts on skate and free-to-play models in these types of games? Um, yeah, like you say, it's a niche field. And I think for that sort of game, I was trying to figure out what are they going to sell? Because the only thing I can think of is just like character customization. Like what 2K, you can you know pay a bunch of money to buy jordans and stuff like that and so character customization is probably the biggest thing that they can monetize which mm -hmm. is good and bad it whenever they do that it gives a lot of incentive for people to spend money you probably get more content overall in the game eventually but also it kind of takes away from like in game progression because like mm -hmm. if if you know what's the point of coming back every uh well i guess like same like Apex, so like what's the point of coming back every three months to start the new content if it's just if all the best content is gonna be me spending money and not from me playing the game or playing the battle pass and stuff like that. Uh and it's especially worse for like skating games and stuff like that when it's mostly a solo activity. Sometimes it's more multiplayer, but it's not really competitive. So it's mostly self challenge. Uh yeah. so that that's a, a big problem for it. Um, I think that they will, they might stick to what they said, because one, uh, especially at the beginning of the last generation, EA was like the worst as far as like monetization and loot boxes and stuff. Over time, they have gotten better with it and like not had many microtransactions and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. well, at least loot boxes, because what, um, the Star Wars Squadrons was a $40 game, no loot boxes, no um microtransactions and it was multiplayer and it was actually pretty good but i would say that the concession is that um it, it definitely had a much lower budget than their other games mm -hmm. so going into this like maybe they will stick to that promise but they're definitely not going to invest the same type of money that they, they would put into a different game so that's good and bad where you can get a game without many compromises maybe it would be still a fun free-to-play game but what does that mean for the overall design like it is it limited in some way where you wish it had more time or a different type of monetization where it could utilize it so we'll we'll see uh because obviously at the end of the day they want to make a profit so minimum effort for maximum profit is what you should expect yeah, no, I it, that that that's I agree with that too. I feel like it's um it's exactly what they're trying to get after. It's just I wonder what it'll look like um and how long it'll take for it to to become a good game. I just don't trust free to play no more. Honestly, I don't trust it to like be good. I don't trust them to really really have an understanding of what the what the what the community wants um so we'll see um i just think free to play models i haven't played a game that i felt like outside of apex i don't really i haven't felt played like a game that i was like man this is it's a lot of fun and i don't feel like i'm getting scammed i mean fall guys falls into that category I suppose um, Among Us was like a few dollars, but um, so it wasn't free to play. I'm trying to think yeah, what was all, like some of my biggest and funnest free to play outside of Apex. Um, all like multiplayer free to play games, except for like Fall Guys, because the that's more like a was a battle royale, uh, mm -hmm. and again you buy cosmetics. But as far as like if Destiny is like free to play and stuff. 
all those big um, games that are going to be around for a while or whatever have to have some sort of compromises where like we oh we, we like playing Rainbow Six and Rainbow Six is going free to play but you got to buy all the characters so you know whatever yeah. um and same with like a bunch of other games the game it might itself might be fun but they're going to still ask for $20 per transaction for something cuz that's how they're going to make their money yeah no oh, that's even Warframe, which I like, either you're gonna grind a lot, <laughs> or you're gonna spend money. But it's it's free to play, so if you don't want to spend money, you don't technically have to, but you're still gonna put time into grinding. Or if you don't want to grind, you spend money, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I go back to Jalen's point about you know the grind and like spending too much time on a game because. You don't want to spend like they want it. They want your ten dollars so bad that they gonna make the they gonna make the grind so hard that you tend to just be like, man, I, I don't want to do this. I want to just be able to get back to the fun of the game versus what their what their their blocks are that they put in place so that you can have a bad time. <laughs> uh, like when you start designing for people to have a bad time, like Diablo Immortals. Like, they literally are doing certain things to like stop people from being able to even grind daily. That's crazy to me. But, um, yeah, I, I guess uh, we have to wait and see. I'm still ha I'm still excited that it's back. I liked Skate 3 a lot, um, played it a lot. But um, I just, I'm just worried about this whole thing about it being free to play. It's... Um, yeah, it's been 12 years, man. It's been a, quite a while. So insider registration is on EA.com slash game slash skate. If you want to actually, you know, sign up to be in their, uh, insider program where you can play the game as they kind of work through it. Um, I don't really like playing games as they get fixed on. I like to play them when they're actually complete. So that's. I'd rather wait until the game is out, and if it's not out and it's not right, um, that's gonna be unfortunate. And it's gonna be a pretty sad day, but I ain't gonna play it. So that's what it is. What it is. Hopefully, they can do do better than their um, their counterparts, um, especially Battlefield, especially Diablo. Um, just those types of games where it just was like fall flat on their face. Well, Battlefield wasn't free to play. So I can't really put that in that category, but boy, oh boy, did it feel like it was a free to play game. That game was <laughs> hot garbage. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, but uh, moving forward, um, I don't want to dwell on Skate too much, uh, but I felt like it needed to be said. <sighs> Sad face. <laughs> 